Police say this started with a stolen car, a short police pursuit that ended blocks away, and a suspect so determined to get away, he ended up killing an innocent woman and injuring another. What happened at the corner of Coolidge and Oak Park Boulevard has those who heard the violent crash and saw the aftermath so shaken tonight, knowing it could have been anyone in the path of the suspect speeding car. A car police say was stolen. It's sad. It's, it's heartbreaking because that could have been anyone. You know, it, it could have been any, any of these people out here. It could have been anybody. That's just not the way to die. The suspect uh, driving the stolen vehicle um, continued at a fast rate of speed southbound here on Coolidge. It appears to be through a red signal and uh, basically T-boned the passenger side of the uh, innocent person's vehicle. The impact was so powerful the jaws of life were needed to pull the two women out of the silver sob. Police say the driver was alive but suffered serious injuries. The passenger, 48 years old, was dead at the scene. It's sick, and this, they just took out this woman's black purse out of this car. It's just sick. It gives me shivers. People who gathered at the scene taking cell phone video and stills say they saw police tackle the suspect who got out of his mangled car. He was arrested. Police say they believe he ran the red light going south on Coolidge and slammed into the innocent victim's car. That car had the green light and was heading west. It made me angry because it, I mean, was it really worth it? He about to be probably locked up for probably all his life. This lady lost her life. Another lady broke her leg. Her leg is flipped out of socket. It's just... It's sad. Police say the suspect, who is 38 years old and from Detroit, was also injured in the accident. Non life threatening injuries. He was taken to a hospital. He could face several serious charges as early as tomorrow. In Oak Park, I'm Cheryl Choden, Channel 7 Action News.